Howdy and hello folks, my name is Christian Sasser, but you can call me MH4, and my whole life I've been allergic to peanuts and tree nuts. That means I've never tasted anything that contains peanuts, walnuts, cashews, pistachios, almonds, the list goes on and on and on. And before one of you clowns says it in the comments, coconuts and nutmeg are not nuts. People allergic to those are allergic to separate things, you brainwashed sheep. My whole life, I've noticed a trend. Uh, when I end up being able to later on eat a food that I previously wasn't able to eat, it usually ends up tasting like crap. When Little Debbie stopped processing their honey buns with nuts, I tried one and they tasted like wax. When Stoffer stopped processing whales with nuts, I tried some and they tasted like stale cheese mix. So with this in mind, I have a proposition to make. A call to action even, or one might even say a challenge. Mr. Beast, Stop manufacturing Feastables bars with nuts. I bet they don't even taste all that good anyways. But there's no way for me to judge that without the chance of passing away. So let me be the judge of that by making Feastables bars allergen friendly. Now this isn't a problem that's exclusive to Mr. Beast. This is just a problem with chocolate manufacturers in general. A lot of Hershey products excluding their normal bars are processed in the same facility as their products with nuts making it a huge chore for me to find out what I can and can't eat. Hold on, that guy even has a Nutrition Facts shirt on! Come on, Mr. Beast, you're just taunting me at this point. <laughs> That's not even in the script. Come on, dude. There are just a myriad of brands that are completely inaccessible to me, not even because they're nut products, but because the manufacturers of those food products are too lazy to accommodate both me and the millions of people with allergies worldwide. Big chewy nerds. Can't have those. I can't have Ghirardelli chocolates. Trolley gummy worms. Can't have those. I can't have birthday cake Hershey kisses. Vanilla cream Werther's. Can't have those. I don't have anything else to say but this. Mr. Beast, if you're watching, and I know you eventually will at some point, Mr. YouTuberman, please accommodate me. I would love to try your Feastables chocolate without risk of going into anaphylactic shock and or dying. Now, I'm obviously playing this up for the camera a little bit. It's not the biggest deal in the world if I can't eat your content chocolate, but it would be really nice to see somebody with your position and influence take allergens seriously. You're always saying that your goal is always to create the best whatever possible, no matter what you're doing. And in my opinion, you will never ever have the best chocolate possible until it's accessible to everyone. Okay, well, accessible to me specifically. By the way, while we're talking about nut allergies, did y'all know that EpiPen practically had a monopoly on the epinephrine injector market? Kind of scummy that they named themselves EpiPen, literally epinephrine pen, so they can be almost like the brand name behind epinephrine injectors, like the Kleenex of epinephrine. I, the ones I use are called AviQ, and they're so much better because not only are they cheaper than EpiPens, but they have voice commands built into them so they actually speak to the person doing the injection to lead them through the process. It, anyways, frick EpiPen. Been gone wrong? Why are people searching for that? Mr. Beast donated one dollar and ninety nine cents through super chat. Big black monkey boy. Big Mr. Black Beast.